Today I'm going to show you how to turn your Stream Deck into a hardware monitor. Okay, so I've been having lots of problems with my PC overheating. Uh, and so one of the things that I used to have set up was HW info and would show me stats on the Stream Deck in real time, GPU usage, GPU temp, thermal, all that type of stuff. And before I reset it back up, uh, I figured I wanted to share with you guys how to do this so that you can have on your Stream Deck at a very quick glance, uh, the ability to see exactly you know what's kind of going on. So I'm gonna walk you through that here today. All right, so first of all, you can go to hwinfo.com. Um, there's a couple different ways that you can download this. Obviously you can get this from the GitHub page or you can get it from their website, hwinfo. You just go here, you click in free download, close this crazy ads. Uh, there's a portable version. And of course, what you're gonna want here is the full installer for Windows. And make sure you don't click this you don't want the land sweeper you just want the hw info or the method that i like to get it if you want to go ahead and open up your windows terminal click yes to allow that and this is the way i like to install most applications these days if you can do win get all one word win get and we can do search hw info all right we didn't type that right win get search hw info Go. And there you go right there. You can see that it is available as a package. So in this case, instead of going through and downloading the installer, which you can do from here, and click install, and then launching it from here, this has to be manually updated. If you do it through Winget, one of the cool things that you can do with Winget is you can do Winget update and you can update all or upgrade all of your pack packages at the same time. Uh, and it also follows your Microsoft Windows updates as well. So if you have automatic updates enabled, it can patch all of your applications. So super, super cool um, way of kind of keeping things up to date. So we're just gonna do Winget install H W info. And it's going to go ahead and download it. And hey, look at that. All right, so now we have all the sensor data coming in. Quite a bit of information here. We can see virtual memory, our CPUs. We can see our clock ratios, our temp, our CPU temp, idle, load. Of course, our motherboard temperatures, the back temp. I turned that one off. I didn't turn on the, um, the embedded controller temp. You can see the temperature of our RAM, our drives. We've got a couple of SSDs in here, external drives. And let's see, we should have our GPU temps as well. Okay, there we go. So this is 3080. We've got our GPU temp, 38 degrees. Memory temperature, hotspot, hardcore voltages, and everything here. So really a lot of information here, but you're not going to want to have this up. It's not very friendly to look at or view. So what we want to do is we want to get the HW info from Stream Deck. Uh, this, the GitHub link will be available in the down below. Um, there, so there's, once again, of course, two different ways that you can get this. You can pull this from GitHub, right? Uh, or if you open up your Stream Deck, we're just going to go ahead and create a uh, new profile just for this. And here we can type in HW info. So obviously you can download it from GitHub or you can go ahead and get it from your Stream Deck. So I'm just going to pull it from Stream Deck. That way it automatically installs it. Okay, cool, so we've got that all set. So now here we've got our sensor data, we've got this guy, 
and let's build out this little profile here, huh? Custom, we have HW info. Just one little icon. And these icons are pretty cool. Um, okay, so make sure it's running and properly set up. Okay. So we may need to reload our stream deck here. So let's just exit stream deck. We're gonna reopen it. Yes. Okay, so we've got a little bit of an error. Let's take a look. Sensors only, settings, shared memory support. So we missed a step here. Okay. So they got this really nice little documentation right here that you can click. It'll tell you everything that you need to do uh, step by step to get this all set up. It's also on their GitHub. And we did skip a step. So here we have to go back into settings. And we have to enable shared memory port. support. There we go. All right. Now we're going to click that. And so now, hey, there we go. We can now set up our sensors, right? So I'm going to set up the CPU. Reading. I want percentage of total CPU usage. We'll call this CPU. And we can just very quickly go through here. Set up all these. So here's one that I have built out a little bit more. You can see here that it's got a little bit more information and data on it. GPU core is my CPU, my RAM percentage, my GPU load, my temperature. I also have some Wi-Fi downloads and upload speeds here. You can see what the network connectivity is doing. Set up our Wi-Fi. We'll upload. Download, we'll set that to our Wi Fi sensor. Oh, my God, it's downloading. Oops. That's not actually what I want. I want download rate, not current, not total. I want okay. that way when I'm streaming, I can see just at a glance by clicking over to this button, I can see what my traffic is doing. If I'm going up or down, if I'm having a lot of that. I also have, like to have this little one here. This is just a tool from Bar Raider. Uh, you can see that that one there is just a ping. So if you don't have the Bar Raider tools, make sure you grab those. And this is just a simple ping, right? And I have it pinging Google 8.8.8.8. And that way I can always see what my milliseconds are uh, to Google. And also it gives me an idea if my network is up, if the internet is down for some reason or what have you. OBS starts kicking a whole bunch of packets or errors. I can very quickly just glance down at my stream deck and go, oh, shoot, the internet just went down. So it gives you a pretty cool uh, opportunity. Uh, you can, of course, change the images here. If there's a lot of latency or a lot of issues, you can kind of change it. Or if there's a, an image, if it times out, you can put, you know, bright red X or something like that on there. Anyways, uh, I hope this gives you a little bit of an idea of how you can set this up. Uh, if you like the video, make sure you like, uh, subscribe. We'll be continuing doing this. You can find me I'm at Designator uh, pretty much everywhere, or you can come and check me out at BraindeadGuild.com. All right, thanks.